Yo, what's going on, Lucky Wins? Today we have the long awaited room tour setup, gaming setup. I'm gonna be showing you guys anything from my walls to my gaming setup, my PCs, and most importantly, what I use so I can stream every single day over on Twitch and provide you guys YouTube content that I do every other day. But before we get into it, just know this is something I accumulated over the last year. My year of streaming just passed up, and before I started, I was playing on the PS4 console that was constantly overheating every four hours. I was using Discord on my phone with the Apple AirPods, and you know, it was something that you know I wanted to work towards so every month or so often I was always adding to my setup so just know it's been a lot of work this is not something I started with but something that I'm continuing to build and grow for We talk about is a gaming setup in itself and we'll be jumping into the PCs first. So you guys don't know I run two PCs in itself. I have the streaming PC and most importantly I have the gaming PC down here. So now on my desk from left to right, if you guys see the stream, this is kind of just the background. We have the battle meter controller Casey uh, alongside our first place winners phase Twitch Rivals trophy. That's always going to be a prize possession for me. We have a couple G Fuel containers and the one and only Chamas, the lucky cat. I want to say this, another one with our logo on it. And right here, you can find all our controllers. It's always good to have a backup when competing. So I have a couple of them here. All Battle Beaver, and you guys want to see what that is. Link will be in the description below of what I exactly have and a discount code as well. Uh, moving on to the right side, we have two monitors, but most importantly, what powers a lot of the sound effects you guys hear on stream, like the Termi ups and all that stuff is the Go XLR. Now the Go XLR not only helps me with the sound effects and stuff like that, but as well as uh, all my audio issues and anything like that. Also has a voice changer on that as well. Uh, to my left here we have the Stream Deck. Now this helps me change streams, uh, you know, screens on my actual stream. So we actually pan over on this side. You'll see by me clicking a couple streams, we go just chatting the gaming one and then the stream one right there. Um, and back down here we have the Razer mouse and keyboard. This will be linked in the description below if you guys like what you guys see here. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. I'm not a mouse and keyboard player either. I just have a lot of fun and you know when I need to. I mean it gets the job done so I like that. Uh, the glasses you guys saw me seeing in the intro are the Gamer uh, Advantage glasses. They were a gift to me. Hopefully working on a sponsorship with them too. They help out because you guys can see from my setup. I'm constantly looking at screens eight to nine hours a day both on and off stream so I definitely need those blue light glasses alongside the little lens cleanser. Right here we have a Sony A6000 camera. This uh, captures an HD on the screen, uh, so as I'm streaming, you guys to watch me play. It helps me also record the intros as well. Uh, can't go wrong though with some key lights. We have a key light here from Elgato that were a gift for me from Elgato. They sent me a couple ones. We have this one a little bit more different because this one kind of gets the right side. This one's a little bit brighter on the blue light side. Uh, these actually are super cool. You can control them from your PC. So right here I have, um, I can control the left and the right one, change the color, temperature, and then brightness as well. So depending on the time of day I stream, you can focus on that. And most importantly, if you've been in the stream, you know, I am constantly yelling and cursing up until four or five in the morning. This is a soundproof panel. So, you know, my parents are next door or anybody over there can't really hear me in the vibration. So this actually helps out a lot. If you actually walk past this at an angle, you know, your ear actually like you get a humming sound. It's weird, but I have that there. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh yes, uh, in the back, my monitor stand. It's actually a dual monitor stand. A lot of people don't like them. I personally do. People would say, oh, get the single. But for me, the dual one does a job. It connects to the bottom of my glass desk and it connects to both my PCs. Now I'm able to actually turn it. I'm not gonna turn because of cables, but I can turn it vertical. It's a little dusty in the back. You can switch it around, move it. I gotta be careful though for that Elgato light. And this one too, this one I'm constantly moving because it's my gaming PC. So this helps out, bring this closer, bring this farther, whatever it may be. Um, down here, this is a desk actually from Amazon. It's a glass desk. Now, I only got the glass desk because you can't see them right now, but I have lights that actually go all the way around and they kind of project it a little bit better, but I actually got to replace these lights. So for right now, it's not doing the job that I got it for, but I mean, it does good. Um, so that'll be linked. It, it was like, it wasn't too bad. It was like uh, 200 bucks this desk. It gets the job done. I like the L desk. Oh, and I forgot to call out my headset. So these are the Arctic Pro 
sevens. Uh, I don't know, Ian, put it on the screen. I don't know what they're using, but they're wireless. Here is the mix after that, that connects also to my Go XLR. This connects to that. I'm able to adjust everything, not only from here, but also the Go XLR. And my headset in itself, really comfy. I like them because they're wireless. So when I'm constantly getting up, moving around, all I gotta do is flop them on. I don't have to worry about no cable. Um, again, not sponsored, but they're really cool having that wireless headset. The battery life on that, they usually last around, I would say 18 hours. And then after that, they'll die. And I always have one battery charging, so it's a quick replacement. All you gotta do is go here, flop this part up that's magnetic, take the battery out. And then the charger kit is actually inside right there. If you can see that, then just replace them. And that's it. So that's there. And most importantly, the mic that captures my voice uh, the Shure SM7B. This was a gift for me from my boy JJ. JJ works with a lot of artists and he said this was a mic to go with. And uh, to connect that, I have the Blue Compass mic arm. Um, this one is really nice. However, I kind of like a mic that goes, or the arm that goes down and then up. You can't really bend this too, too far down, but it gets the job done and also has this cable. Uh, when I get more cables or I get a longer cable because I'm going to eventually move this, the cable will actually run through the arm itself. So it's better for cable management. Um, and I think that may be it for, oh, last but not least, you guys know I play with Diaz Hector and sometimes swag in the boys. I need that foot pedal to constantly be or deafen. It's basically a button I bind to my mic. So anytime I click it, the stream will hear me, but people I'm playing with won't. Vice versa, I could also deafen if I'm in those one before situations. I need to block out all the sounds, all that stuff. I'll, call, uh, I'll mute that so I can't hear anything but the game. So that's really helpful, especially if you guys stream. Uh, highly recommend it. It's like 20, 30 bucks on Amazon. Even if you want a single one, it's like 10, 15 bucks. By far, probably the most important purchase out of all this. And I think that might be it for the setup. Uh, I'm not, don't think I'm missing anything. There is this one last piece back here that might be hard to see. It's called a mouse and keyboard switch. So if you guys don't know, I do have, you know, two monitors, two PCs. But back here to the left of the Go XLR, I click this button and the mouse and keyboard will switch to the other monitor. I click it again, it'll go back. So it's good if you guys don't want to constantly be switching PCs or having two mouse and keyboards. For me, it helps out a lot and it saves that. So I think that's it now for the setup and the gaming portion. We'll jump into the room itself. And finally, we were talking about the room turret itself. So anything I have accessories wise, including the wall, the desk and all this stuff. Right here, this is my vlogging and backpack. So this is Tyrion, obviously, below. I actually really like the size and all that stuff. It's waterproof and all that. It carries all my stuff. Clorax, you know, to keep the room clean. We have the GH5 camera. All the specs of this will be linked in the description below. Alongside the lens I have, this is what I'll be using for vlogging with the tripod in itself. My MacBook Air here, this is what I use to store all my photos, videos, and stuff like that with two micro 64 gigabyte SD cards. Or what is this? No, this is a flash drive. This is something like that. And then I get this question all the time, Lucky, how's your wall? Where did you buy it from? This is one of my favorite things I have in my room, but these are custom made. If you guys don't know, this is uh, actual wood. It was cut into the position of a hexagon and the shape of a hexagon. Um, and some of them are actually put out a little bit more, so 3D effect. And I run by just a regular Amazon LED strip. It's snaked up, so it starts from the left and goes down, comes this way, and it ends right around here where I connect it. And I can change the colors all from my desk and stuff like that. But yeah, so this is 3D. This is just some wood from my like, Home Depot that was cut up, made for me. And then we hung them up. Here, got a little bamboo tree. And I think that is it for the room tour. Again, though, this isn't something I bought on Amazon. I used to have tiles in my room. There's some tiles you could run up on that on Amazon, but these are custom made. Uh, I got this idea from one of those like uh, best gaming setups of 2021 or something like that. And they actually had custom ones. So we did kind of replicate that. And uh, so that's there. And then boom, we have the closet uh, with the barn door. I'm not gonna show you what's behind here. Maybe we'll do a shoot video eventually. But how that, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I got a small room, but I make it work, you know what I mean? Got the wall, got the doors, got the you know, vlogging setup, got the gaming, and most importantly, I get this. Lucky you play eight to nine hours a day while gaming chair you sit in. This is the worst gaming chair you could ever possibly get from Amazon. I hate it. I don't recommend it at all. I'm saving up for a Herman Miller, but until then, we're rocking out with this bad boy. It's got me through a year. It'll get me through another one until I get one. But yes, the, the L Racer black and white from Amazon. You can check that out. And yeah, that's about it. But yeah, thank you. Welcome. And uh, hopefully you enjoy the gaming room tour setup. Peace out.